Con VIPs, welcome to the Bon Talk stage. How's everyone doing? Are you having fun there? Oh, yeah. Without any further ado, I'd like to introduce a very special guest who would like to give you a very special warm welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ian McDermott. I just want to say a quick hello from the dark side. Yeah. Oh, look, it swivels. That's good. I didn't order it especially. It's very good. I, I sit in chairs that don't swivel as well now and again. Uh, it's very nice to be here in Nashville, my first visit to your extraordinarily lively city. Uh, and we feel those of us who come, very, very welcome indeed. I've only been here two days, and I feel I've been here a lifetime. Everyone's so friendly and welcoming. And uh, I wish I was here for a bit longer, but I am, when I've finished signing for you, talking to you, and just being here, going to get to Memphis, um, where I've never been, uh, so I can visit and pay respect to another great icon. I don't need to mention his name. Uh, that phrase, great icon, uh, I, you know, uh, people say you're a great icon now. I think, oh, no, I'm, I'm Ian. And they say, yeah, but a lot's happened to you in 40 years, more than 40 years. Because all that long time ago, I got a phone call from my agent who said, George Lucas wants to see you. And I said, oh, okay. And uh, they said they'll be sending a car. And as I looked out of the window, the car had already arrived. So I got in it and I went to L Street and yes, there was George Lucas and Richard Marquand, the director of, as you'll all know, Return of the Jedi. And we had a nice chat for about 10 minutes. I mean, not much longer than I'm talking to you today. And I can't remember what we said, but when I left the room, I heard George say to Richard, hey, the guy's got a great nose. <laughs> so I thought, well, that's obviously going to be a good omen, but I had no idea what he was talking about. And I got back, and the phone was ringing, and it was my agent, and he said, great news, you've got the part. I said, oh, okay, what's the part? And he said, apparently, he's called the Emperor of the Universe. <laughs> so I said, oh, well, we'll be doing it then. <laughs> and, uh, and on it went. And you know the phrase, third time lucky. Well, I am in the fortunate position of having been lucky for three times. The first, Return of the Jedi. The second, those three prequels, starting with The Phantom Menace. And then to my utter astonishment, astonishment my resurrection uh, yeah. many years later. Um, yeah, in that film I've only just been able to talk about because we've all been locked away from each other for so long. Uh, the Rise of Skywalker. And a lot of people said, but he's dead, isn't he dead? He went down that chute, how could he possibly survive that? But of course he was the Emperor. He had a plan B. Every, every famous autocrat has a plan B. I won't speculate about current autocrats and what their plan Bs might be, but uh, I think you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I guess that the Emperor was, he could either sort of freeze himself like Harrison Ford's character in the previous movie, or he could make sure he had the best medical team in the universe. <laughs> and he did, and they slowly got himself together, as you could see from the movie. Um, small people, but very efficient. <laughs> working, yes, I think so. working around his limbs, his innards, everything else. We were going to show you a bit more of the movie, but we didn't want to be too distasteful. Um, so we just confined him to a kind of galactic wheelchair, which you remember, um, which moved me around the studio, sometimes at an alarming rate. But it was like being on a ride, you know, I really enjoyed it, it was great. And the guys who were manipulating me, there were four people working that machine, and they were great, and I had full confidence in them. And they'd say, okay, stand by, Ian, we're going to move you. But they usually said that after they moved me. So I was sort of like that. Um, but I, I was okay about it, it was, you know, it was fun. 
Uh, Daisy Ridley practically had a heart attack every time I moved towards her. She was very uh, concerned on my behalf, unlike the character she was playing, I might say. Um, you know, I mean, honestly, no, no gratitude to a grandfather. <laughs> what kind of a kid is that? You know, she, she completely destroyed me, and I'm reliably informed that is forever. <laughs> no more Palpatine. On the other hand, there are series kicking about, aren't there, at the moment, in which I, I say I, uh, the Emperor is still running the universe, um, so maybe there will be a kind of retrospective life for him, but I'm speculating. I know nothing, as usual. And even if I knew more, of course, I wouldn't be able to tell you, because I would be truly dead. That's Ian this time, not, not Palpatine. And a lot of us have come very close to death over the divulging of secrets over the years. But um, I have nothing more to tell you on that front. I have thing. a question oh, for you. Oh, got a question. Okay. Yes. Uh, what do you think of the character Obi-Wan Kenobi and the actor? Oh, that I think I know that voice. That's almost Obi-Wan Kenobi, but not really James. Um, yes. Well, of course, I hate his guts. Not yeah. Ewan. I've known Ewan since he was at drama school, and of course, you, you know by now that I know his uncle very well, Dennis. Lawson, who was Wedge. Um, but uh, we didn't have much to do together in the, in the saga, Ewan and I. Um, he helped rescue the wholly innocent Palpatine, you know, from the, from the clutches of General Grievous, I think it was, who also happened to be the sound guy on the picture. You know, it's a sort of wonderful mix. And uh, yes, I suppose um, I was grateful to him for that, or rather Palpatine was. Uh, but we never had any confrontational scenes. And Would you like to create one now? As far as I know, there are none planned, and I, I'm not going to start now. Does this, this, this is not me telling, telling I, me how I was to... told I need to heckle you as much as possible. Oh, really? Who told, yes. you, who told you that? Well, it's part of the Jedi Council, you see. Oh, right, I see. I, see. Yes. I just wanted to know so I could end their life after this brief, <laughs> brief introduction. You know, my fingers are still fairly flexible, oh. even after all those years. <laughs> We've done no that. No rheumatism much. here. Yeah. <laughs> And, uh, and now, you, the, you know, the character, to my astonishment, of course, I was completely astonished to begin with when I knew I could feed electricity out of my hands, but in the last movie, of course, I could also shoot it through the roof, <laughs> which was extraordinary, and destroyed, dis destroyed millions of people through just a pair of hands. How are you, James? Yes. <laughs> I've been put up to this. I'm not normally oh, uh, this rude. Of course you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen you for a long time, it's very nice to see you. How amazing is it to have the man, the myth, the legend? Yeah. 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 I'll, I'll, sell, I'll sell for the man. I'll leave the myth and the legend up to them. No, I don't mean to interrupt, but I just but wanted you to say hello. Well, I did mean to interrupt, actually, and I was told to interrupt. Okay. But it's lovely to see you, and I hope you have a wonderful time here in Tennessee. The people are fantastic. I've worked that out already, and I've only been here for 48 hours. And the food is pretty good, yes? Terrific, yeah. All right, and the drink and the time, and so I hope you have a good time. But I was told to crash your party. Okay. So I just wanted to say hello. hello. Well, it's very nice to see you. It's whatever guys, right. James. I won't bug you anymore. You go on, talk. No, I'll better go. I I it says 45. 45. Yes, I, it's, it said 45 for ages. I don't know what it means. It means seconds. I think it means get off. So whatever it means, uh, how nice to see you all. I hope I'll see you again soon. And uh, very good luck to you. And all good wishes from the dark side. Bye -bye.